State Police Chief Dr. Majlan Manso said the body of the victim was discovered by his colleagues when they returned from a routine patrol at 3.25 a.m. When they arrived, the policemen saw the station in darkness before finding the victim in a pool of blood lying face down on the floor at the front desk counter. Forensic investigators also found slash wounds behind the victim's head and a gunshot wound on his back. CCTV tidak ada di uh, di sekitar apa ni balai ini, tapi uh, kita sedang menyiasat mungkin ada uh, di sekitar kawasan ini uh, ada uh, CCTV yang di apa ni kawasan-kawasan uh, rumah terus ni yang boleh bantu kita dalam kesihatan. Ya. Setakat ini masalah yang daripada pribadi tidak ada apa-apa masalah lah daripada Kelaka? Kelaka tidak, tidak ada. Tak. Based on initial investigations, the incident could have happened about 2.40 a.m. as witnesses in the area claimed they heard a loud bang at the time. However, the witnesses did not suspect anything amiss as they thought it was just firecrackers set off by people who were celebrating Merdeka. Dato Mazlan also said Valentino, who hailed from Srawa and leaves behind a wife, had been serving in the force for seven years. So far, police have yet to determine the motive behind the incident and did not rule out that the victim knew his attackers. The case is being investigated under the penal code for murder.